Welcome back to TGIF. Now, our next guest, I know a lot of y'all have been looking forward to this, but listen, we are not here to attack this man. We're here to have a deeper conversation about what we're all doing here. That's what this is all about. So please uh, welcome and join us now is the founder and CEO of the Zeus Network. Please welcome Lemmy Plummer. Hello, Lemmy. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Lemmy. <laughs> How are you, buddy? <laughs> here we- I, heard, I heard you want to fight me. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I heard you, I heard you want to fight me. I'm I, I confused. Might be, depend on how this conversation go, I might. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Let me, uh, first of all, Lizzie, how are I'm, you? I'm, how are you? Can I EP, fight? Can I EP that fight, Lemmy? <laughs> yeah, uh, see, you should come uh, on to Zeus. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I might try to EP it. <laughs> So let me, uh, first yeah. of all, how are you? And thank you for joining us. I know you reached out after you saw uh, one of our conversations yeah. about you. So uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Zeus is being accused. Let's just jump right into it. Zeus is being accused of failure to ensure the safety and security of its cast members after an alleged fight broke out during the taping of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Now, it's been mm-hmm. reported that Jocelyn's Cabaret cast member, Amber Ali, is now taking legal action against Jocelyn and Ballistic after the two allegedly jumped her. Now, let me... Uh, can you give us more um, details about this incident and do you have security on standby just in case things get escalated? And I also saw you said, I never got a lawsuit. Like, I, it's new. Yeah, I mean, look, like I, like I said in a previous interview, you know, uh, we're, we're conducting a thorough review and investigation. And I really can't comment on the specifics at this time. But, you know, the safety of our cast, crew, guests is, is our, our number one and top priority. We have deep any claims. So there's really nothing to, to talk about. We haven't we haven't received any claims from from. So I, I, sorry, uh, Mr. Plummer, but when you say you haven't received any claims, what exactly does that mean? Does that mean you haven't received any demand letters? You haven't received any- people. People can make statements. We can't control what people do on social media. We haven't received any any claims from their their lawyers or if they have lawyers. Um, you know, we don't know what their claims are, so we can't comment on something that we don't know what they're, what they're, what they're doing. You know, we, we, we don't know what they're doing, you know, so okay. we, we can't, we can't comment on, on something that, that doesn't exist. You haven't been served with a lawsuit, basically. Like that is a we, There are no claims at this immediate moment. However, I will say that it is, it is, uh, you know, something that I take very seriously. Um, but we haven't received claims, um, from any of the folks. Um, and, you know, it's always, you know, like I said, a CEO, um, you know, uh, my top priority you know, to, to make sure that our, our, our sets, um, you know, are, are safe and that, you know, that, again, the safety of our, 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 our cast, crew, guests, whoever is, is, is really our top priority. So that is, that is, that is the reality. And so, you know, if, if a claim is made, we, we will address it and we'll respond. But I have no idea what the claims are. Got it. All right. Uh, Let me, I know you've heard, you know, the statements that I made about your platform. That's probably a large part of the reason why you're here. For those who have not seen it, we got a clip. Let's take a look. I am very proud of the fact that we got a black brother that has built a network that and, it, and it's profitable and he's getting shine. But to be quite frankly, brother, you built your network on trash. You built your network on trash and you set our culture, as far as I'm concerned, with all those pieces of programming, you set us backwards. So maybe this is the chain of events needed for Zeus to take a small shift in direction. So that being said, let me, uh, how did you (laughs) feel seeing that clip? Because I'm sure everybody sent it to you. And uh, what's your rebuttal to that? I really didn't feel anything. I mean, look, you're entitled to your opinion. I don't agree with you at all. You know, our customers don't enjoy garbage. Um, I don't agree. You know, I think our customers are intelligent enough to understand what they're consuming. You know what I mean? So you saying it's garbage and trash, you know, that's that's one person's perspective. You know, Um, I, I don't understand how you quantify or qualify, excuse me, trash. How do you how do you qualify trash? I don't. I don't understand that. You know, are okay. you talking? Are you talking violence, sex, drugs? Um, you know, etc. I mean, if that's the case, then all of Hollywood is trash. Every every production, every show, every network is trash. And then we we should probably watch TV and the Word Network every day. 
I mean, let me, we could honestly sit here and play a game of words all day long, but the fact- No, it's, that- it's not, it's not words, Funky. It's, it's, it's not words. You, you called, you said our programming and the network is trash. Mm-hmm. You know, I invested my own money to create a black owned network because we were usually not given these opportunities, you know, to, to be in a position where we actually can actually like distribute content, fund, finance, invest in programming. And so- I didn't really think about it. It wasn't like, you know, I wasn't like sitting around sad, you know, or, or upset. I mean, it is, it is, you know, it is annoying. I'm a little vexed by it. However, I I, I will, I will say this. It's it's like, if, if, for me, it's like this specific show, your show is called TGIF T you're 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 talking about i just watched your segment right you guys talked about will smith and jada pinky you you're not you're talking about negativity all day right negative news you know what i'm saying you didn't highlight samuel jackson's or quest you know uh uh what's the guy's name quest love you know there you didn't spend a whole segment talking about how that was samuel jackson's first oscar you know you spent all all the entire segment talking about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, you know, and giving your commentary. So in a sense, TGIF is trash. Or, or maybe, you know, maybe you're, you're an association. Maybe you're an affiliate of Zeus. I, I, I don't, I'm confused. You know what I mean? So, so what, are you, what, are you, what are you saying? Okay, so Mr. Plumber, hold on, hold on, Al. Mr. Plumber, we, you know, obviously, how convenient of you, you cherry picked one example of one particular segment. This show, we cover a vast array of topics, both intellectual and garbage. I mean, it is a gossip sure. show. You, on the other hand, I took what a gossip moment. Mean? Hold what on, hold on. I'll let you finish, so let me finish. Sure. I took a minute to go through all of your programming on your show, right? Because I didn't even know that you had all of the programming that you did on your platform and congratulations. But I find it odd that in your speech, you use the word intellect, right? Or intelligent, our viewers are intelligent and I'm not doubting that. But of all of your shows that get Zeus the most ratings, you've got Baddies, you've got Jocelyn's Cabaret, uh, Boys, Los Angeles, you had Black China, you had One More Chance. I, I'd like to think that those are your most popular shows. You can't sit here and pretend like there is not a reverberating theme that goes throughout all of those shows. And it is extreme fighting and violence that surpasses what we see on normal cable. And it seems to be that that is a large part of your success. That's low hanging fruit, in my opinion. I could go out right now with the camera, throw water on homeless people, make a show out of it, and it would skyrocket. Doesn't mean it's right. You're, you're you're completely wrong. You don't own a network. You're not a CEO of a network, and you're not you know you're you're not in my position. So I respect what you're saying. However, I don't agree with you. I don't think our audience is trash. I I, I do think that the customers are intelligent enough to understand. Again, like I said, what they're consuming, they they understand. You're 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 basically saying the audience is stupid. Right? No, I'm not saying that. No, I mean, I mean you're, we have saying... a ton of we have a, we have a ton of subscribers, right? They understand what they're consuming. You know, you know what I'm saying. And so I think when you actually watch the shows, you met, you reference Black China, you reference Bad Boys LA, you went, reference Jocelyn, you reference Batty. I mean, there's a lot of other storylines. It's a it's a it's a it 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 has multiple components. You know, it's not just salacious or conflict driven. You know what I mean? It is it is it, some of our shows. And some of the storylines have heart. It's real. It's raw. It's uncensored. It's unfiltered. You know, and, you know, I mean, we have tons of shows. Some of our hit shows happen to be some of the ones that are a little bit more louder and provocative. But we have over 60 plus shows on the platform that you don't even talk about. Short form content from influencers and all sorts of folks. So I'm just saying we have a diverse. I'm sorry. Because no one watches those. Let me let me jump in here. The, you you just do you understand what I'm okay? So you just, you just proved my point. You just said no one watches those. Can right? I ask so a question? Can I ask you a question? Um, share me. You watch. You obviously are a network CEO, right? So that means you have you have a handle on television across all genres, right? Mm-hmm. You watch a lot of TV, or you have experience experience watching on TV. Is that correct? I saw. I'm I'm 35. I'll be 36 this weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, I sold my first show to BET when I was 21 years old. It was a show called Vindicated. 
Um, they bought it. Yeah, really of experience. And, Watch. And, 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 and your guys' boss, James DeBose, he understands. He was at BET for a while. You know, he understands the process. Shout out to James. Thank you, James. I appreciate you. You're a great guy. But I, I will say that I sold my first show when I was 21. It was about folks who were wrongfully convicted of, show, of, of crimes that they that right. they were exonerated from. And, you know, Morris Chestnut hosted it. And, you know, we, we had a plethora of shows. I, I sold the Preachers of L.A. Right. Mr. Palmer, Mr. 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 Palmer, I'm sorry. I'm not asking about your. your, your yeah, no, your, I'm saying I understand. I was, I was responding. I was saying I understand. I understand different types of shows. Hey, let's so have, I'm, I'm just saying I, I have a background. I understand. And, so I just and, I just want to get my question out, please. Let me get my oh, question. Sure. I thought you asked your question. Go ahead. No, I didn't. So my question is, of all the shows that you've created, all the shows that you see on television, which ones or name a show that you would consider to be trashy or consider to be lowbrow or consider to be not good for the culture? Is there any show in TV land that would be considered trashy, lowbrow, not good for television? It is, it is. So, Al, thank you for your question. I hear you. I, 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 it is, it is very subjective, you know, I, who, again, who, who saying a word saying trash, right? I can't, I'm not going to use a word that you're using. I'm not going to say trash. You know, I think all, I think people come from all different places in the world. People have different upbringings. People have different stories. People are in different places in their lives. And we choose to show and, and, and we choose to follow the stories, in 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 re in real form, you know, in real time, we we try to give our audience a a a a, 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 a programs that are 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 real and raw, uncensored. Like I said, unfiltered. Nobody's really doing that. That's the beautiful thing about having a streaming platform. We don't have to appease advertisers, right? So the content the content can be a little bit more edgy. It can be a little bit more provocative. You know, we can tell the stories in a more real real way. Right. When you have advertisers, you have to water the content down. You can't use profanity. You can't show nudity. You can't. That's why people appreciate Netflix. I mean, uh, you know, some of the other streams, whether it's Netflix or HBO, you know, HBO has had tons of shows that maybe you would call salacious or conflict driven or too raw or, 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 or too much. But there's an audience for it. They're HBO. They have a range. I want to jump in here, Lemmy, with you. I, I'm not here to attack you at all. And no, I don't. By the way, guys, I don't feel attacked. You guys are entitled to your opinion. I don't, you guys, I don't, here's the thing. I, I, I appreciate you guys having me on the show. I, you know, in, in your platform and, you know, Funky, you said a lot of uh, negative things about Zeus, which is unfortunate. You know, I don't, I don't understand, you know, here, here's what I don't understand. You know, it's, it's like, it's like, um, it's usually us as black people, you know, who, who attack this sort of content and people when we have it, but you don't do it with the other networks. You don't do it with the VH ones. Why aren't you calling out Viacom CEO? Well, because why aren't you right? right? Why why aren't you calling out Viacom CEO? So if, why if, aren't you so call anything, why, why don't you call I, out We TV? Why don't you call out Bravo? Why don't you call out these presidents and CEOs? Why do you gotta sit on your platform? Knowing that I'm a new streaming platform, we're doing the best we can. We're telling the best stories we can. We're, I, don't, I don't think any of our talent, any of our content partners are trash. Natalie Nunn is a fantastic businesswoman, entrepreneur. People love her. She's been on television for a while. Same with Jocelyn, Jocelyn Hernandez. Same with Ray J. Same with Princess. Same with Chance. Same with Black China. Same with Drea. All these people have been on television. They love them. We've given them an opportunity. We've, in a way, given them a second chance. And you guys, by by saying these very derogatory, uh, uh, very negative things, you're you're in a way saying that about them. I'm giving them the platform to be them. I'm giving them the platform to monetize in a completely different way. The money that they're making, they will never make that type of money that they're making on a VH1 and a WeTV. Why? Because they're not going to share in the revenue. Why? Let, me, let, me, let me jump in here real quick. I want to say this because it's been a lot. Uh, Y'all have been saying, you know, everyone's been saying how they feel about the content. And to your point about being a young CEO of a company like this, um, I think we have to look at it like this. I've said it before. Is it? What came first, the chicken or the egg? The fact that you have 60 shows and we do talk about the ones that are the most salacious and people complain about those, but you do have shows. I've talked to you before about your other shows on your platform where you have balance. You have, you, you have other shows, but people, again, and I think that goes to the appetite of the consumer. 
And if you are delivering what your consumers want, then you are doing your job. Now, you don't have to watch it. If you don't like the content, you don't have to watch it. And if you do like the content, then go there and watch that. That's what exactly. I want to say to people no, that, no, are, no, that are no, coming. No, Claudia, thank you. And I appreciate, I appreciate your perspective. You're right. Now, Claudia, I hired you to be a host on one of our reunions. Is that, is that right? You did. Right. I, you worked for Zeus. Okay. Yes, I did. And, and people, so, so did, and people I, did, that we, did, did, did we, did we, did we, in any way, shape or form, force anybody to do anything? Did you force anybody to do anything? No. Or was it real? Right. It was real. We, we had the cameras there. We're, we're showing, we're, the, this is what the audience wants to see. If, no. if the reunion. No, no, if, no, 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 no. Crackheads want crack. That mean I'm going to give it to them. You know what I'm saying? And hold on. So, so I'm, that, and, and I'm hold sorry. On, say no, that let again. me finish because, Lim, you've been doing a lot of talking. Let me finish. And you addressed the whole do we attack Viacom, so on and so forth, because now you want to do the whole, you know, I'm a black man. I salute what you're doing. I love the fact that you have a network, but I think with you having the network and the creative autonomy to do whatever the hell you want to do. I also think you have a social responsibility, Lim, to show us in lights that we've never been seen before and that don't exploit the most negative stereotypes of our culture. I'm sorry, shows where people just outright fight it's low hanging fruit and it's intellectually lazy. And there's no. Oh, so, our, so you're, you're calling, you're calling, you're calling, you know our what? Consumer, you're calling our consumers and customers crackheads. No, Listen, what I mean, you, know what? you just said, that's you just said, said, so you're. Hey, hey guys. Hey guys. I gotta, I got, Hey guys, listen, 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 listen. I gotta jump in here. This is not the this is not the interview that we wanted to. We did not want to go. Listen, I'm having a great time. No, we're no, no, a great no, no. conversation. But I'm getting notes, my notes. This is not where we wanted to go. We this is a black man that does run a network. Thank we you. need to have a conversation. We do want to give you your flowers for that. We can disagree on whether we support the content or not. And we obviously do some people do, and some people yeah. don't. You have choices on what you want to watch. At the end of the day, you are a 36-year-old man that runs a, a black man that runs a network. And, and not only am I 36-year-old black man, you know, Claudia, I am I employ a lot of people, which is one of the reasons why I signed up to be a CEO and founder of a network. To me, it was important to give jobs behind the scenes in front of the screen. I, I, we look, we're like three, four years in, guys. The, I mean, we're three, four years in. Of course, I have plans to diversify our content. We've been doing it. We invested in Drea's show. You know, you know, we invested in all sorts of shows. We 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 we, we invested in the the Millennium Tour with Omarion. I mean, and so you, you guys are talking about a couple of projects and shows, which we appreciate. People watch it. People are talking. They're, they're, I don't I don't green light shows to create controversy, maybe conversations, maybe to show the real, maybe to show the raw, like I said, maybe to allow people to tell their story. Jocelyn is Jocelyn. Jocelyn is Jocelyn. She's going to be Jocelyn no matter where she goes. I gave her a platform. She was passionate about doing a cabaret. You spoke very negatively about the cabaret, saying it's no cabaret, this, that, and the other. It isn't one. I went to it. It doesn't. Okay, we, we, we've got to go to commercial. We've got to go to commercial right now before I lose my job. And let me, I'm going to have to come over there and you have to get me over there. Okay, so. Well, I hope we can come back from commercial and talk about some of the other things. I hope you guys don't cut me off here. I hope we can talk about other things. Let's take a quick break and figure out where, we're, where to go with this. Uh, we will be right back with more after this.